Today, I will be applying the same principles taught in the book, Breakthrough Advertising, and actually reviewing an ad to see how they stack up, actually leveraging the fundamentals and the marketing fundamentals taught in this book to review an ad that I just stumbled across the internet. It's not an ad that we created or anything like that. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nick Terrio. I basically create all this content completely for free to help you scale your business. I have no course or anything like that to sell you. I do offer coaching to where you can work with me one-on-one or done for you service where we actually run your ads for you. Click link below for that. I've done over $50 million in online revenue with Facebook ads. So that being said, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's dive into this because I literally only have like 10 more minutes left of this memory card on my camera. So we got to hurry up. All right. So you can see my screen right here. It has a little internal doc that I built um, that it's literally everything taught in breakthrough advertising in um, you know all the key fundamentals that I apply okay and then I have this ad right here which we'll watch really quick okay so it's just an ad girl talking it's a UGC style uh, found it on TikTok nothing crazy uh, we'll see what it is so pet insurance is a scam she kind of talks about like how she thought it was a scam as well then she tells her a story about how her dog basically had an accident. And then, you know, then they basically, she used this particular insurance, Wagmo insurance, whatever it's called, how it paid her back, how it works. Now she's so happy that she has, you know, peace of mind, basically, that she never has to worry about facing this herself. And you can get it for as low as $13 a month. Okay, cool. So with that being said, let's actually go back and review this ad, but applying marketing fundamentals from breakthrough advertising. So if you never read breakthrough advertising, this is gonna look new to you. If you have read breakthrough advertising, then what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna see a lot of these uh, familiarities, okay? So first off is desire. What is the mass desire of the market? The mass desire of the market is people fearing to have to pay a lot of money. It's a desire to have peace of mind from never having to worry about like big, expensive, not name it, <laughs> work with another client that has related to that. So that's why I'm, I'm saying that. But they're, they're, they have a fear of losing money from, you know, insurance of like their dog getting hurt, something like that. I have a huge vet bill they have to pay. So they have a fear across the market that we're hitting on. And that fear is being unprotected, uh, being exposed to large bills, okay? And how well do we hit that? Well, they do, do a pretty good job. They showcase a big bill that typically would fear in people's eyes. And then further down the line, they show how that bill was easily saved due to this pet insurance right here, okay? Now, what is the main benefit of this product? If you get a large pet bill, they pay for it. That's it, okay? They do a good job at just hitting on that one main benefit. You don't need to hit on 20 or 30 different benefits. You need to hit on the one main benefit and that's attached to your main desire. Main desire is, you know, fear of losing money. Benefit of this product, you get reimbursed back after you get a pet bill, okay? Cool, market awareness. Where do we pick up this conversation, okay? So obviously this is not unaware because this is this headline. This headline or hook is what capture people's audience, okay? So if we're targeting our audience and we want to target an unaware market, it wouldn't be pet insurance as a scam because, you know, unaware is people who are completely un unaware to pet insurance, okay? They're unaware to the problem they're experiencing, okay? Is it problem aware? Well, it's not necessarily problem aware because the problem would be, wow, you know, I could be on the hook for thousands if my dog gets, um, you know, hurt. I have no clue what the solution is, okay? Is it solution aware, okay? Solution aware would be never pay for a vet bill again, okay? That's solution aware. People are actively looking for solutions around the um, specifically like, you know, your dog, like vet bills and stuff like that, okay? This is more product aware, okay? And the reason why it's product aware is because they're aware of the solution of pet insurance, but they don't trust it yet, okay? And the reason why they don't trust is because they're saying pet insurance is a scam. So this is an objection right here. It's a good product aware. I'm aware of the different products for the solution. I just don't know which company to go with or which like products best for me, okay? So we're actively targeting a specific objection in the market around a specific product, okay? Now, look, I know about pet insurance. Um, I personally don't think it's a scam. I am a dog owner, but I also have a lack of importance for it, okay? And which we'll get to that in a second. So we're actively going after specific, you know, targetable, like specific like audience right there, people that's already going through it. Now, I'm, I'm gonna kind of go through this a little bit faster. How many products have they seen before? So this is going to dig a little bit more into market sophistication which again, I'm not really going to dig into this because I'm trying to just keep it a little bit more for the average Joe to be able to understand some of these concepts right here. Okay. So we got the headline. Cool. So like, you know, we've gone through a lot of this. 
I want to dig a little bit further. So you got your headline down, you're appealing to your right audience. Now, the next part of it is the three dimensions of the prospect's mental world. And these are the three dimensions that you have to appeal to to make your ad successful, okay? So we are, we are appealing to the desire in this video because we talk about the bill and we talk about how it can easily get paid off. So we're appealing to the desire. The next one is identity. This is something that a lot of people do not get right. It's identity. Identity is who this video is targeting, okay? So let's say, for example, we're saying pet insurance is a scam. Okay, and then we're showing a snake instead of a dog. Well, that wouldn't appeal to our identity of the dog owner. Okay, that won't at all. So if we just say pet shirts like scam and we show a snake or a spider, that's gonna be a very small market and we're not really gonna be able to grow sales much. But because we know there's a large dog market, we can appeal to more dog owners. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing is this girl right here literally looks like every girl in mid 20s that owns a dog that I personally know in my area, okay? And hey, maybe she says she's my type, but who knows? <laughs> she definitely looks like the typical millennial dog owner, okay? So if they use someone who is maybe 50, 60 years old, who likely has a lot of money to where these vet bills wouldn't, or vet bills really wouldn't be a problem, it probably wouldn't really mix that much. But because they're targeting a lower income demographic that also makes up a lot of dog owners, they know who their identity is, okay? Then the last thing is they're talking about belief. And now this is a really powerful one, okay? Because belief, you cannot contradict belief. So if there's a belief in the market that pet insurance is a scam, then what we have to do is we have to address that belief and then we have to overcome that belief. And because it's a product aware ad about where product aware is a lot of objections and stuff handling and everything, here we're actively handling an objection, a belief that goes against this product and we're addressing it and we're showing them why that's not true, okay? So I'm gonna go skim this through a little bit more. And, and again, notice how we haven't really moved much off of just desire okay like we haven't really moved much because there's so much you have to get right before you can even build the rest of the ad so we're gonna go into desire there's a few different ways to strengthen desire okay so we already know the desire of the market is to kind of like save money protect yourself here's eight ways to strengthen that present the benefits demo the product show the prospect how to test the claims yada 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 okay so let's go through this okay so let's really recap this Okay. Okay. So we're showing off the problem. The product fixes. That's the first thing. So that's number six right here. Next one is we're showing people just like, again, the problem, the $300 bill. Now we're demoing the product. We're showing the product in use right here. Okay. Showing how easy it is to use this product. Now we're showing the benefits, how it saved her so much money. And then also in a way we're showing the customer approving, which is number four right here. And there we go. So we used a few of these key different ways for this ad. Again, we didn't make this ad, but the creator did. Okay. So that's how we strengthen the desire for this product. Now let's go a little bit further in here. Let's go in the identity. Okay. Do we identify with the right customer? Okay. Well, we're identifying with a girl mid twenties. Okay. Makes probably a large portion of the pet, uh, the pet market. And then we're also appealing to the, the, the type of pet. That's probably the biggest across the market. And that's pet. That's a dog. So very good job on identification. All right. Is there anything around belief that basically how can we build a bridge of belief from something that they have now? And how can we overcome that? Well, we are addressing a belief pet insurance is a scam. And then we're basically going through that and showing people how it's not a scam. Okay, cool. Boom. Now, again, I got to hurry up because I've literally like four minutes left of recording. So let's kind of push through here. So next one is a few different ways. So now we're going to talk about three reasons why people do not buy. People don't buy because the product's either overly complex, not important enough, or it costs too much. So in this ad, is it easy for the consumer to figure out how this product works? Yes. It. She literally shows how it's easy just to upload your receipts, take a photo, upload and people and she event get like literally gets a Venmo. Super easy. Easy for this product to use. It's not a complex insurance or anything like that. Great. All right. Next one. Escalation is how important is this product? Well, there's something key here. You guys are not going to typically look at one time. My dog tore his ACL from jumping off the couch. She didn't say my dog ranger, you know, tore his ACL from pulling my sled across the Arctic you know, to bring me a bottle of water, you know, something super rare. She told something very common, which then increases, oh, fuck, this is a real problem that I might need and happen to me. So she was able to increase the importance of this insurance through that right there. Very, very subtle. Most people wouldn't catch that, but very subtle. 
Okay, now the next one is price reduction. Again, if someone says your, pro your product is too expensive, it's because they're comparing it to the wrong things. So she compares a $300 vet bill, forgot where it's at right there, to all the way down to literally $13 a month. So she makes this look super inexpensive. She does a really good job at price reduction, okay? Let's go a little bit further. All right, so now we're gonna go into mechanization. Now, this is for people who want the end result, but don't know how the product works. So in this ad, and do we talk about how this product works, okay? So yes, we literally describe the mechanism. We show off how easy it is to use this product. Make a claim, upload your receipt, and boom, okay? This is like a, I don't know, like a stage, basically too like sophistication in the market, okay? Very easy, okay? Very easy to do. Now, if it feels like featured a mechanism, it feels like a whole new mechanism in the market, then we'd focus this whole ad around that mechanism, okay? So she does a very good job right there. And let's keep going a bit further down. Concentration. Uh, concentration is basically when you have a lot of competitors and you want to destroy the competitors, basically. But there's really no, she doesn't really talk about any competitors in here. It would be cool to see if there's any competitors and how maybe there's like bad problems with the competitors and call those specific problems out to help this out right here. All right, and then the last one is camouflage, okay? And camouflage is simply where you camouflage your ad to make it feel native to the platform you're on. So she filmed this ad specifically to TikTok. How? She's using the TikTok reply to comment feature. She's just kind of making like a TikTok style video. She's also using a lot of the TikTok, you know, like specific like text right here. So she camouflaged her ad to look like the median that we're advertising on. So this is super important because now the ad's more likely to be seen by that specific platform because we're actively talking about, you know, we're actively making the ad to fit to that platform. And that's pretty much it. So that is literally like, most of the core fundamentals of breakthrough advertising all in just reviewing one ad. If y'all want more videos like this, let me know. If y'all want this full Google doc that I have that I leveraged to review it, I definitely might release it soon. I'm thinking about doing a like seven part series where I basically go ahead and like create, like this is all how you create ads and copy from this one video or from this one deck. I could literally do like six or seven different videos where it's like breaking down each feature. So instead of going by and breakthrough advertising, you can literally get all the videos completely for free, which is that's like a $500 Book, just to be fully transparent so but yeah guys really hope you enjoyed this video again click the link below for coaching if you want me to mentor you or coach you or uh if you want me to run your ads click links below I've done over 50 million dollars in online revenue with facebook ads um we pretty much master marketing fundamentals that's how we you know get people in the door and give people results and we help multiple brands get us seven figures a month so love to help you out um new to the channel hit that subscribe button make sure to the like button and drop some comments below of which i thought of this video so again my name is nick terrio talk to you guys later peace out